the We Lock Variety Show. We are so excited. This is the first um, in-person We Lock Variety Show, hopefully to be not to be the last. Um, we are so thankful to Blake Middle School for uh, lending us their facilities. And uh, I want to remind everybody that there will be a 10 minute intermission. So please um, eat plentifully because it all goes back to the PTO. And um, there's also flowers for sale. So you can pick up some flowers. Also goes back to the PTO. So thank you for that. Um, we have the front row here is something that we like to call the press box. You know, what's that? Um, we want everyone to have a front row seat for their child's performance. So when you can look at your program and maybe in the maybe one act before you can head on down, have a seat right here, have a front row, take a video, take pictures, all you all you want, and then when your child is done performing, you can go right back to your seat and make room for the next person. So hopefully that works out and everyone gets a wonderful view of their child. I want to um, let everybody know that tonight's performance is being videotaped by Medfield TV and it's going to be broadcast uh, in the near future. And uh, we will, we, the we Lock will be sending out a link so everyone can see that on TV. And without further ado, I'm going to introduce our MC for the evening, the amazing principal of We Lock, Holly Coffell. <laughs> be my perch this evening, so make sure I'm staying awake. I'm just kidding. Um, so I would like to welcome everyone. I'm going to put my glasses so I can do this. Thank you so much for coming this evening. This is so exciting. The students have been working really, really hard. We appreciate all of you in attendance. We're going to start this evening's performance with Molly Bolton. Our first performer, Molly, fell in love with Irish step dancing in kindergarten. This summer, she will travel to Montreal, Canada to compete in the North American Championships. Here she is performing a slow, heavy jig. Please welcome Molly Bolton. Lily Zemron. Lily has learned how to make balloon animals while her while at her friend Ivy's house. Immediately after, she requested we buy a set from Park, Park Street Books. Three weeks, dozens of balloons later, and a closet full of balloon animals, 
Lily has become quite adept to making them. Let's welcome her to the stage with a round of applause as she makes her favorite type of balloon animal, Lily Zemlock. And then to make the ears, you're going to make one here, and then a twist. Then to make the neck, you're going to twist here, and make the front legs here, and here. Then to make the body, you're going to twist here, and then to make the back legs, it's going to pull to the front legs. And that is how you make a balloon in a little bit. Amazing job, Lily. <laughs> Up next is our first piano performer of the evening, Gabriel Egbert. Gabriel started playing piano in the summer of 2001 and has loved learning to play new songs each week. He is playing a song that he has loved to practice because of its use of the pedal in what he calls its mysterious sound. Next school year, Gabriel hopes to join the band to learn the saxophone too. Please give a warm round of applause to of support to Gabriel on his second performance in front of a live audience. Take it away, Gabriel.
four, three, two, what is this your card? Olivia and Anna are, have both been playing piano for the past three years, and Lily has just discovered her love for singing over the past year. These girls have, have decided to combine their amazing talents and will perform a sweet song about their furry animals. Please give it up for Lily, Anna, and Olivia. that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who here gave their lives that that nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, and we cannot hallow this ground. The brave men living and dead who struggled here have consecrated it far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will no know nor long remember what we say here, but they can never forget what they did here. It is for us the living rather to be dedicated here to the unfinished work, which they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great tasks remaining before us, that from these honored dead we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion. We here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain, and that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom, and that government of the people, by the people, and for the people shall not perish from the earth. Our next performers, Abby Heslin, Lilla Bender, and Amelia Fuller. 
believe, have become great friends in Mrs. Lynn's class this year. These ladies feel to be and have developed their room on the, on the playground, combining their athleticism and their love for acrobatics, and from their awesome dance moves. This trio will rule the stage, dancing to Kings and Queens by Ava Max. Let's hear it for our dancing queens, Abby, Lilla, and Amelia. Champagne and raise a toast to all the queens who are fighting alone. Maybe you're not dancing on your own. Original 
song by a unique little lady. Cammie has been playing the ukulele for over a little over a year now, and she has already started writing her own songs. Instead of playing a Taylor Swift song, she is excited to perform a debut of her original song, Happy Pandas. Please give a warm welcome, welcome to the stage to Cammie. Yeah. 
much. Our last act for the evening before our intermission includes Sam McCabe, Noah Pointman, James Morrison, and Stavros Anastasiades. We ask you to hold on to your heads. I'm going to name your hats, friends. Here comes, wait, who is that? Who is that? No, it could be. Wait, wow, wait, I'm so, wait a minute, I'm so confused. Well, I guess we're all going to have to just wait and see what waddles out next. Ladies and gentlemen, give a big round of applause for whoever or whatever this is. <laughs> Released in theaters. 
tall person who has a lot of minions. A millionaire! <laughs> What do minions eat on Halloween? Bananas! <laughs> what do you call a minion with black stripes all over its body? A despicable me. I'm singing, I'm singing. <laughs> what do you get when you cross? Rue or the pub? A group hug! <laughs>
about having a career in music, just like her grandmother and aunt. She plans to continue learning new instruments next year at Dale, and after much consideration, she has settled on the saxophone. Elise recently participated in two sessions of the Medfield Recreation Glee Club through Parks and Rec, and loved singing and dancing with her friends. Elise decided to perform a song she learned in Glee, Count on Me. It's a beautiful song originally performed by Bruno Mars about the support friends provide to each other. Take it away, Elise.
Pete and Rory Warren found each other during recess and decided to put an act together. Their passion for girls had fun, their passion for girls had fun and kept their focus and practice hard. Their parents are so proud of them for, for participating in this variety show, getting on stage and showing off their talents. Please welcome these four go-getters with a big round of applause. Sophie Pollock. I'm not quite sure what they're going to do, but I'm sure it is going to be absolutely amazing. They are going to wow and amaze you. So please put your hands together for Sophie and Thank you. 
my evening. So I have a couple of thank yous that I need to make. A huge thank you to all of our amazing performers this evening. Let's have a round of applause for all of us. Thank you to all of you parents and guardians for your hard work to produce this amazing show and for the encouragement and guidance to give each and every one of these third graders the support they needed to get up on stage. Round of applause for all the parents and guardians. Thank you to the Great Middle School for letting us use their facility tonight. Thank you to the Allen family for donating the sound equipment which made the performance sound so much better. Thank you. Thank you to the Wheelock PTO for supporting this wonderful event this evening. And we, we would not be able to have this evening without our wonderful PTO. And uh, finally, thank you so much for Me to Meg Katza for her endless hours of commitment to make this show so incredible this evening. She came to me with the vision and we, she pulled it together and I can't imagine having a better show than this evening. So congratulations. daughter so she'll be around next year. <laughs> and finally, we are going to welcome back our performers to the stage one more time. Just a reminder, there will be re reception in the, in the cafeteria. Welcome our third grade performers back to the stage for one last bow and to celebrate all that they accomplished this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, our third grade performers. <laughs>